So my love of Nifonovac started in 2006. Um, I was studying back then for exams and I heard, I'm from France, and I heard on French TV, French TV was on, Roland Garros was on, and I heard the French commentators um, talking about a player who had said something about Rafael Nadal who was not unbeatable on clay. And I spotted a French jersey, and it was Novak who was wearing the French jersey. And I loved the attitude straight away. I loved the fact he was wearing the French jersey, and I started following him. And then 10 years later, I started being able to afford to go to matches because it costs a lot of money. And now it's been five years that, you know, I, on a day to day basis, I save money, I save as much as I can, and then I go and I travel. So, yeah, it's been, it's been 15 years I've been supporting him, and five years I've been traveling. He had just lost the ATP finals against Andy Murray. Oh, that and, was painful. Yes, and um, I remember being like, oh my gosh, maybe I'm going to annoy him. And actually, when I saw him, I was like, no, no, I come, it's been 10 years I've been a fan, I love you so much. And I was talking quite a lot, and it made him smile. And then I remember that very well because it moved me, and I thought it was such a sign of respect. He took off his cap to shake my hand. and. In my country, in France, that's a huge sign of respect. So he did that and um, he thanked me. And then, yeah, after that I saw him more and then he started recognizing me, thanks to my hair, I think. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's been, it's been, I would say, three years that Novak really knows who I am.